Hello everyone, it is me, Jennifer Bunny, and today we're going to be talking about how to make your room, and nice. as they call it, aesthetic. Step one so, is to clean your room, and I mean actually like really clean it. Like I cleaned it for around seven hours straight. It was very tiring, but it's definitely worth it. So I'm going to show you how it looks. So here it is. Going to make a quick, very easy video. Also, while you look at my room, I got, I used the webcam. Hmm. I used the webcam here that I got for my birthday and Christmas. It's pretty good. It's a Logitech webcam. And as well as the curtains, I will get to why the curtains should be there. Um, after you clean your room, like that good, my room used to be very messy. So once you've cleaned it, you're going to go on to step two. Basically, just change it. So what I mean by change it is you have to change it to how, like, I'm sure before your room, you cleaned it, you just cleaned it, but you didn't change it. So you have to do is change your room. So for example, I put curtains up, I change I put my blankets in different spots, I rearrange my pillows, stuff like that. Not just wipe the floor, pick up it, put it in a different place. So that is changing it. Completely change it. I actually changed my uh thing that's on my bed, the bed cover. And yeah, it definitely makes your room look more stylish. And why you change it is because you have to change it into an aesthetic way. Going on to step three, lights. You need a lot of lights in your room. I have, you can use Christmas lights or you can use fairy lights or you can use the LED strip lights that go across like the top of your room, like all the way around the uh, ceiling. Ceiling, like in the creases of the ceiling. Now you, or you know, that's optional, I don't have them. I think that that's not necessary, but you do need lights. You have to have them to have your room look like good. And I have lights, as you see right here. I'll get to more details on the lights and stuff. I also have lights in here. You, to make the room look aesthetic, you usually want the lights in your bed and on your desk, as well as around the ceiling. But like, don't just put them in random places. Make them desk, ceiling, or bed. I have some lights up there too. I have candles. I'll get to that. Um, in the same step as the lights, because candles do do light. Uh, you can do real or fake candles. I don't have candles. I have just nowhere to put them. But if you have like a shelf, I don't have a shelf. But if you have a shelf, just lying across any blank place of girl, put some. Put a candle and a plant. I'll get some more on plants in the next step. As well as fake candles, I actually have fake candles. So here's there, the candle, get. and I have a little light switch for my candle. So basically, what I could do is I could go on and I'm Harry Potter, and then I could you could put a timer on. I could make it flicker, kind of flickering, and make it flicker better. There you go. So now you can see it. I could also change the colors. Yeah, just that. I'm not going to show off. I'm just showing you to change the colors. If you have that sort of candle, then that would be great. I have a bunk bed, so I put some lights on my bottom and the top bunk, and it really makes it. Now, I don't know if you know this. I'm so excited. I'm going to get a TV on Easter. Now, that includes with the... A little. It's just random stuff. So, the TV, it's very good for an aesthetic room, or visco, whatever you want to call it. So, put the TV in a good spot. I'm putting it right above my desk. And, yeah, you just put it there, maybe put some lights around it. It would make it look good, and it would definitely help the look of your room. The next step, which is step four, three, four, three, four, four. Yes, four. Four. Is to put, you got it, plants in your room. Plants really help. And not, don't overdo it. That also has a little to do with it. Don't overdo the decorations. Plants. 
I have two of them. You don't need that many. I'm going to show you. So let's show you. I'm going to show you this with and without. Here's without plants on my desk. And here's with the plant on my desk. As you see the plants right there. I mean, it would be better if you do it close. Here's close. Close. Without. As you see, it, all, it just logs into the room. If you're not... Uh, if you can't take care of a real plant, just get a fake plant. I like real plants because I think they fix... I think they make the room look cool. Uh, I think it looks better with... I just like real better than fake. I also have a fake one to show you an example. Uh, you can get these. You get fake ones at the dollar store. You don't even need to put much. And so here is the fake one. As you see, it still looks good, but I prefer those. Also, it's a pretty good idea to get a color scheme. That will be So what you're going to do, after the plants, put them in good places. So next step. Here's the next step. The next step is Polaroids. So if you don't have a Polaroid camera, that's okay. But it's better if you have a Polaroid. So if you didn't see the light up here from in the video, I kind of purposely put them there so the video kind of looked aesthetic. So along with my lights, I put two Polaroids. I I have to get more um, film, but if you get I, I have the example here. So you, you get clothes. This is what you need for this craft. You need lights, I got these, um, clothes pins, and the Polaroids, and I have a picture of my little, my sweet little lizard on my ladder, my bunk bed that's right there, and put them on clothes pins. I would recommend putting a white ribbon behind it too, if you don't have a white ribbon, just get some sort of string, uh, make sure it's thin, and it blends in pretty well, and then put it as it says, see, you blends in with my white desk. And make, if you put it just on the lights, if your lights aren't strong enough, like my little weak lights, it's going to make the lights droop down. So put a ribbon behind it and clip it on the ribbon. And so, like, put, like, a little bit of it on this and most of it on the ribbon. And it will make it look like this. And, like, just imagine, like, one, two, three there. And think about how cool that would be. And, yeah, and I would recommend having a Polaroid visible in your room if you have a shelf with the plant, put the Polaroid next to it. I'm thinking about putting a shelf right there and putting my plant and the Polaroid next to it, and it really makes it better, so it's a good idea. Do it. The next step, I'm not losing track, so I'm just not going to say what number, it is basically the curtains. Um, this can vary different change but the curtains are pretty they, I mean they kind of like make the whole entire room so the curtains and I'm gonna tell you my room was so I thought I wanted to make the vibe I had everything but the curtains the curtains finished it if you put the curtains here just look how beautiful it is look just watch I'm going to kind of go on here you just open the curtains. It's like a fresh, exciting feeling. Ah, I'm so tired. Curtains really do it. Or a canopy. If you have, I have a bunk bed, but, so if you have a bunk bed, good to go. You are perfect for your room. Because all you have to do is get the thing that's like up here, like this thing, and like clip the sheets on here. It looks really cool. Or a canopy. So if you have a bed and you can just clip the canopy on the ceiling. If you don't know what a canopy is, here's a picture. And clip the canopy on the ceiling and then put it around your bed. It does really make it look nice. So yeah, it does really work. Another step. This is kind of to do with the lights thing. Uh, another step. This step is about the style of your room. Now there's different types of aesthetics. There's the topic what is like lights basically i have lights everywhere that's not really my topic i mean it's basically a music and game like and because i have a lot of games and anime and yeah you know that sort of thing so that's a pretty good topic and if you're into that sort of stuff i think it's a pretty good idea 
you do, you should want some like action figures and stuff if you're going for that. But that sort of thing would be a grunge thing. Grunge is kind of like the emo, but it's not. So once you're done with the whole entire, uh, you know, curtain thing, canopy, whatever you want to call it, you could also put a sheet up there for the top of the bunk. I didn't do that because I had one on the bottom and the air doesn't really come in, so I don't have a fan. You might want a fan because my house isn't very cold tonight, so I put a fan, as you can see right there. Now I'm going to show you around my room. Okay, so welcome. I'm going to show you around. I'm keeping that in. So first, uh, this is one of my doors. My door is actually over there. But I thought that this would be a good place to start where I am. So, uh, as you see, as you see, you can see my the Polaroid and the lights across. And then, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, that's basically, I mean, I don't think I have to explain. And lights, 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 more lights in here. As you see, I think this is a pretty cool, cool hideout. I will also, uh, I will also show you the top, top of my bunk bed. And you will, I think you will really like it because I think it's, uh, pretty cool. So this is the top of my bunk bed. As you see, I have the candles, and I think it's pretty nice. The, there's also a few blankets. And another t hint, tip, is the galaxy. Try, like, to have a theme. So my theme over here is the galaxy theme. And that is basically it to all you need to know on how to make a pretty nice room. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!